Welcome back to the roundtable on the IH Sports Network alongside of the voice of the Highlanders, Rick Keaton, the voice of the Indians, Tim Smith. I'm Ben Garrett, and we are a half hour into a two-hour program. I want to remind you that we've still got our legend of the game coming up. He's here. We're not going to reveal who he is. I guess I just gave you a hint with the he part. Uh, Tim will be interviewing him a little bit later on, so I just gave you another hint. Uh, you're going to want to stay tuned for that for sure. But right now we're joined by a couple of lady Highlanders. We've got senior Zoe Terry, and we've got sophomore Brittany Morrow. Morrow. Wow, I got my mind almost went blank there. At least I didn't call you Trey. Got, let me say, first of all, this was, this, we were going to use seniors to start off. Now, obviously, Rayleigh and Braylon, they're juniors. Uh, we, we held the Oneida seniors till next week. Zoe's a senior. Everybody else is going to be here tonight as a senior. Brittany, you're a sophomore. You're the youngest person here. There's a reason for that. You are the leader of that Scott High basketball team. This is my opinion. Maybe not vocally because you're, you're pretty shy <laughs> and quiet, uh, but the floor leader for sure. You put the team on your shoulders sometimes, and, and that's you're here, by the way. I, I mentioned the quiet part. That's why Zoe's here because she is a politician. She talks to everybody, so we did that to counter, counter, kind of counterbalance things. So, guys, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. <laughs> let's, since we know the result with Brittany, let's start with Zoe. Uh, girl, the thing that we look at, and you heard us talk about it a while ago, um, three wins in the last four games. I saw a lot of continuity. Uh, got to attend most of those games. Saw a lot of continuity. Uh, gelling together and getting good bench play. Zoe, what else do we need to do to go down the stretch? Because it's very important. Coming up, you've got three district games remaining. A chance to get back into the middle, mix of things in the district. What do we need to do better as a team? Well, coming together as a team, we finally figured out how to do that, and we need to rebound better, uh, definitely need to talk better. Um, I think our defense is definitely good, but our offense, we're lacking there a little bit. Not that we're not getting shots. We're getting all the shots we want, just not hitting them. Right. we got to start making those, and I think we'll be all right. Foul shooting. You heard me throw a statistic out earlier about uh, Brittany, but as a team, don't have the percentage that I was looking for. I think this is a, a bunch that can shoot free throws really well. For some reason, we get on the court during a game and, you know, and they're just rolling off the sides and clanking and doing all kinds of things. Has that been an emphasis in practice the last couple of weeks with Coach Wright? It has. We've definitely worked on those a lot more than we have before, but that should help. Well, the importance of things. And you heard Ben glowing praise right there. Uh, you... <laughs> You started out playing a little different role when the season began. You had spent so much time last year as the point guard, and, and Coach Wright and I would go all the way back to June, and he's telling me I may have to play her someplace else. But as Zoe said, the team is gelling better. You've gone back to handling the ball so much more through the course of the game. I feel that's your position. How do you – is that your position, or do you prefer to play someplace else on the court? Well, I like it. It's, it's okay. I mean, I can play it, so. You can play it. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> let's, let's concentrate on, on something else here. You prefer to have an opening. You prefer to drive to the basket. You prefer to go in and, it, heaven forbid, if you miss a shot, you like to be in there and rebound because you're a very good rebounder. Is that your preference to drive the ball? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and defensively. <laughs> so I and, told you. I, I, yeah, the counterbalance. That's the reason I started there. <laughs> Defensively, defensive. We know that Coach Wright started going to the three-two defense last year. He opened the season this year, wanted to try to play a lot of man. Uh, wasn't working particularly well. Went back to the three-two. Tell me why that is such a, a vital, important fact to the Lady Highlanders. You seem to play that defense better than anything else. I mean, far better than any other defense. Yeah, no, the three-two. I feel like we can move better with it as a team. Mm -hmm. And like Zoe being in the middle with her length and athletic, she's very athletic. So, and if, if yes. she's not in, if she's not in the middle out front, you're then in the middle, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I wanted to be for sure, but that gives you a talented trio threesome up there. If you and Zoe's there, uh, typically the other person is going to be Julie starting the game there. I mean, so that gives you a pretty athletic bunch to chase the basketball a little bit. What? Do we need to do inside? Are we stabilizing the positions inside? Are we getting the play that we need to? Or will we get the play we need to inside from our uh, rebounders? I mean, sometimes we do, but not all the time. So I feel like if we, I don't know. Just... 
you just enjoy the game of basketball, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, I asked Zoe, or I mentioned to Zoe, you've got the three district games. You're 0-3 in the district right now. You've got Halls, you've got Clinton, and you've got uh, Anderson County. Halls was the only game that uh, where they sort of, I don't want to say blew us out, but had a big lead and won by a large margin. The other two games, they were within five or six points or like that. Do you look forward to getting to play those teams? And two of the three will be at home. Do you look forward to getting to play those uh, district games? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular opponent that you feel is a tougher challenge? I mean, I don't know. Halls is pretty tough, but I think you're beating them. So. Okay. Well, that's a good answer. So we... We look at the, the team as a whole. We see Coach Wright making some substitutions. He's going nine or ten deep in games. I didn't think that was going to happen. Tell us about the others, maybe not starters, but who's coming off the bench, who's helping, who's getting a lot of minutes and contributing to the Lady Islander. We have uh, Gracie Lewis. She's mm -hmm. She can come in and handle the ball for us, and she's small, and her length is deceiving, so she can get a, her hands on a couple of balls, get us some steals. Um, Annaline, she's uh, look for us down in the post. Um, I don't really know. Bree. Oh well, yeah, Bree. She's got. She's super tall. She could get some rebounds for us. Um, we can look at her down low, but I don't really know anybody else right now. <laughs> well, that's that's okay. Yeah, this is a tough spot. We know being on air like this. Um, what what team do you look forward to in the district playing? in the second round? Uh, I definitely want to go. I want to play again against uh, Clinton because I kind of just want to get back at them. I know we can win that game in halls. That was a game we were still figuring mm, out how to play as a team. We weren't playing very well at all then, and I know we can beat them. So I'd like to, I'm ready to play them again. Uh, and then AC, I definitely want to play them again. That was an awful, awful game also. Well, and, you, and we play them on our home court, so that's yeah. – definitely an advantage to be able to do that because uh, you walk in the gym over there and there's just sort of open openness yeah. you look all around there like that and it's not used to the friendly confines that we're used to yeah like uh, as we move forward and I'll ask the question and both of you can throw the answer out there as we move forward I mentioned that you won three of your last four games uh, got 12 games to go and eight of those are at home tell me how you think the Lady Highlanders Question for Tell me how you think the Lady Highlanders are going to handle the second half of the season. I think we definitely have the at home advantage, with helps, which helps a lot. We Sometimes we don't play good on the road. I don't know if our legs or what it is, but I think we'll definitely help us boost our confidence here, getting some wins that we need. Uh, Brittany? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask you guys. Any questions when we got started? But I got one question I want to ask for each of you, and I, I'm going to start with you, Brittany. You're a pretty good basketball player. You've been starting as, since you were a freshman. Not many freshmen get to start, but you came in, you started right away as a freshman. Trey Morrow, your older brother, he's at Bryan College now, 3,000 point scorer. I mean, obviously he was okay too. How does it make you guys feel knowing that when it comes to the Morrow siblings, the biggest moment is not any basket that Trey Morrow scored or not any basket that Brittany Morrow has scored so far? The biggest moment for the Morrow family has been when Austin Morrow lacerated his kidney. <laughs> and it just stole the thunder. Do you, do you even remember that? Were you old enough to remember? I mean, I do, but I wasn't. You were probably only eight years old then. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe seven. I was scared, so. Zoe, tomorrow night you guys play Northview, and then you're going to get deeper into the season. You've got uh, Anderson County coming up at home. You've got Halls coming up at home. You've got a lot of big home games coming up. So let's say in one of these games, whichever one it might be, uh, you guys, you're, you're guarding out top, as you sometimes do in that 3-2. And off the rebound, you sprint the other way, and you're open, and you get the, the run out pass. Can you finish it? And by finishing it, I mean, can you dunk it? Mm. Would you try? I would try just for you, Ben, but it probably wouldn't happen. I appreciate that. Okay. It, for those who don't for, know. For Coach Wright's yeah. sake, yeah. just make the layup. Yeah. Well, Forget about uh, Ben Gary. Here. <laughs> Zoe Terry, probably the most athletic basketball player at Scott High, boys or girls. Okay. So I'm just going to say, if we're going to see a dunk from Scott High this year, it could be Zoe. I'm just, you never know. And it could be Gray Todd. He might be me too. It, it could be Gray. Okay. Uh, he's probably got that ability, but it could be Zoe. 
He's he's also got like a foot on me, okay? Well, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zoe Terry and Brittany Morrill, thank you guys for joining us. Good luck tomorrow night against Northview Academy. Thank you. Thanks, Lady Highlanders. And we will take another break. When we come back, we're going to switch gears back to Oneida as we're joined by a couple of Oneida seniors. <laughs> 